Assalamualaikum and hello to all. Today we are going to proceed to chapter 2 alkanes. So 2.1 structure of alkanes. Huh? So at the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe alkane as saturated hydrocarbon with general formula CnH2n plus 2 for aliphatic alkane CnH2n for cycloalkane. Huh? Alkane with cyclic structure. Also 2.2 nomenclature, you should be able to name the alkane, draw the structure and name the compound according to the correct IUPAC nomenclature for straight chain and brush alkane, cyclic alkane and alkyl group, ethyl, methyl, propyl and so on. Okay, so let's see this, this one. So this is the example, eh? methane, all carbon have single bond. You can also write down in condensed form. This is 5 carbon atom, pentane, cyclic compound cyclopentane and this one a branch alkane which is 2 methyl propane so all these are saturated carbon single bond no functional group open chain general formula this is open chain this is open chain this is open chain so it follows cnh2n plus 2 let's take for example this one 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 5 carbon so when n equals to 5 cn is c5 h2 times n which is 5 is 10 plus 2 okay so 12 so this one is actually c5 h12 so hydrogen is it 12 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so it is correct for cn h2 n plus 2 for cycloalkane, CnH2n, okay, this is CnH2n for cyclic, yeah? and this one actually is functional group isomer with alkenes. Alkene is the double bond uh, structure. So cycloalkanes and alkenes are functional group isomer. Uh, that's why it is say it is isomeric. Yeah? So all these are the example. You need to remember all this. One carbon alkane is methane. 2 carbon is ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane and so on. So you need to remember this one. Eh? And also the prefix. Okay, so you need to remember all for this one. Okay, let's see the example for this one. How to name the structure. Nomenclature means naming, eh? naming of alkenes. Eh? Okay, so what are you going to do? You need to find the longest chain. The longest chain will be the parent chain. Therefore, it should have uh, the parent name. Eh? So, you can see that from here, the longest chain is actually uh, maybe like this. Longest chain. Okay, how do we know this is the longest chain? Let's count the carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, 7. Eh? Okay, what about if we calculate from this side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so now you can see that if we count the carbon like this, this is also will be the longest chain. So what are we going to do? So if there are two different chain of equal length are present, so you need to choose the one with most most number of substituent okay so that is one and one more this is the same structure okay all are seven carbon all are seven carbon so substituent is substituent is the uh, atom of group atom or at group of atom attached to the parent chain so this is substituent this is also substituent all these are substituent eh? anything that attached to the parent chain is substituent so there are three substituent for this part three substituent eh? whereby this one one two three four okay so this one have four substituents so which one you are going to choose for the longest chain uh, so of course we are going to choose structure two here okay this is structure two this is structure one eh? Okay, so let's choose structure 2. Okay, 3. And this one is 4. So the most number of substituent is going to be chosen. Eh? And next, you are going to identify and name the substituent. Identify and name the substituent 
for structure like this it is methyl this one is ethyl this one is propyl three carbon i uh, no need to write down n uh. and the structure like this is isopropyl isopropyl because you have this uh, l-shaped structure this one is also butyl no need to write down n butyl and this one it have L shape structure at the back here and it is actually four carbon atom so this one is actually isobutyl and this one is secbutyl okay what does secbutyl means he, here it means that the carbon that attached to the parent chain uh, let's say i write down rr is the longer chain than this so this carbon is secondary carbon okay this is one r this is one R. We are looking at the R of the substituent. Eh? So this is secondary carbon. So that's why the name is secbutyl. And this one, four carbon atom. One, two, three, four. Four carbon atom. And this one is third butyl. Why third butyl? Because this carbon is tertiary. The carbon that attached to the R is tertiary. And we name it third butyl. And all this name is specific. Okay, so third butyl is always third butyl. So you need to remember this one. Eh? Okay, uh, it can also be other compounds, chloro, bromo, iodo, nitro, but this one all are alkyl. So there are three methyl attached for this one. Eh? This is methyl. This is also methyl. This is methyl. And this one is ethyl. And the carbon chain here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 7 is heptane. So methyl, methyl, methyl. All these are same group. When it is same group, we are, you are going to group them together. Ethyl is different. Okay, ethyl is different. So there are three methyl. So we write down trimethyl. Okay, tri, tri because there are three methyl as a substituent. Step three, number the carbon atom. Okay, number. So you are going to number one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we are using this numbering because you will get lowest number for the substituent. Lowest number. Lowest number mean, means that you can find this metal at carbon number 2. If you count from here, 1, 2, 3, uh, you only find metal, the first substituent is at carbon number 3. Okay, so we are going to choose the one that will give you lowest number of locant. Okay, step 4. State the position of substituent and name the hydrocarbon. Okay, so the position here, this one is 2 methyl, this one is 4 methyl, and this one is 5. And ethyl here is at carbon number 3. Okay. Okay, so actually this one is 3 ethyl, 2, 4, 5, trimethyl heptane. And why we write down ethyl first? We write down ethyl first because of the alphabet. E is first before M. Uh, tri, uh, di, tri, uh, we are not counting the alphabet. So that's why 3 ethyl, 2, 4, 5, trimethyl, heptane for this one. Okay, take note. This is something that you need to take note. If the location of two different substituents are same on both ends, Assign the lower number alphabetically to the first substituent. Okay, what does this mean? Eh? Okay, if let's say you count the carbon like this. Okay, and you can also count using red numbering here. Whereby, whether you using the blue numbering, you still see there are two substituent at carbon 3 and 4. At carbon 3 and carbon 4. You using red one, carbon 3 and 4 also have the substituents. But which one you are going to choose? Is it? using the blue one or the red one okay so you need to look at the name of the structure uh, the substituent so this one is methyl and this one is ethyl so assign the lower number alphabetically to the first substituent so the lower number to the first alphabet so the alphabet that comes first so e is first before e okay so ethyl should have the numbering three and this one should have 4 methyl. Why? Because E is first before M. A, B, C, D, E. Uh, e is first before M. 
and the parent chain here is 6 okay so you should name this one like this huh? okay that one is correct and this one is wrong so the structure name here is 3 ethyl 4 methyl hexane okay hexane is because it is 6 okay hexane 3 ethyl 4 methyl hexane so that's the name uh, other common substituent uh, this one neopentyl you need to remember this one cyclopropyl cyclobutyl this one is not a cycloalkane this is actually benzene and it have one free bond here so phenyl and this one is toluene that have one free bond so this is benzyl it can also be fluorohydroxyl amino fluorohydroxyl amino cyano and nitro eh? when you have two or more substituent which is the same uh, we are going to use di tri tetra penta hexa and so on eh? For example, this one, you have 2 methyl. So, you are going to use dimethyl. 2, 2, the position attached to the same carbon. Okay, but this one, when you deciding on alphabetical order, uh, di, tri, and tetra is ignored. Okay, for example, this one. Supposedly, E is first, right? Uh, D is first before E. A, B, C, D, E. But this one, the naming is 3 ethyl 47 dimethyl because we are taking account M and this one we take account E. So E is first. So that's why the name is 3 ethyl dimethyl, no name. Now this one is not correct. Eh? But ISO is considered. The I in ISO is considered. Okay, listed under I. Uh, sec butyl, third butyl, no. You are going to consider B. Okay. But a little bit confusing, but you need to remember this one. Okay, so let's try to name the following compound. Okay, maybe you can pause this video for you to do exercise. And then come back to see what is the answer. Okay, so let's see what is the answer for this one. The solution. Find the longest chain. So this is the longest chain. So label carbon number 1, carbon number 2, carbon number 3, carbon number 4, 5. So this one should be heptane. And you have methyl. Methyl. So heptane. And you have 2, 3, dimethyl. 2, 3, dimethyl. Still have 10. Okay, why don't we calculate 1 from here? 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, if you do this, your structure will be 3, 4, di, methyl, heptane. Di, methyl, heptane. Okay, no space huh? between methyl and heptane. There is no space. Huh? Okay, what happens if you choose 3 for the methyl heptane? This one is wrong. This one is correct why we are going to choose the one which have lowest number of locon okay lowest number of locon lowest number of locon means lowest num lowest position location of substituent okay 3 plus 2 here is 5 okay and this one 3 plus 4 is 7 uh, you can see that 7 is larger than 5 so that's why we choose the lowest number of locon, which is 2, 3. Okay, because it doesn't matter whether you want to, uh, to count from right or from the left. As long as you have the lowest number of locon, uh, you should choose that one. So this one is 5. So we choose the one that is 5. Eh? So 2, 3, dimethyl, pentane. And this one, that is the longest chain. Uh, so how are we going to count the carbon 1, 2, 3 or 1, 
2 okay you can see that if I go 1 2 uh, you already found out the substituent the first substituent but this one you need to go up to 3 carbon then you find out the first substituent uh, so the numbering which is correct this one uh. okay so 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 for dimethyhexane and this one is 235 trimethyl 4 propyl heptane uh, this is the propyl and this is the methyl there are three yeah okay so that's it for today now i hope you get the idea on how to name the structure so good luck